Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be touching up my roots, something I've personally never done before. As you can tell, my roots have grown out quite a bit and I mainly want to focus on the money piece. I'm going to be using the Blonde Me Duo here. I've used it in the past and really like the results, as well as this mixing bowl kit here that I got on Amazon, which comes with everything that you need. The Wella Color Charm T14 Toner. I used T18 in the past, decided to give this a try. Some aluminum foil, as well as this Allplex Bond Treatment that you add to your bleaching mixture. It's like Olaplex, but the cheaper version, if you will. Here's a little before and to start I'm going to section out a triangular section in the front here for the money piece and you want to make sure that your lines are nice and straight. I'm also brushing back the rest of the hair and using these hair grippers that I got on Amazon just to make sure that the rest of the hair does not get in the way. I am going to leave out the sides though because I do want to add some back to back foils on the sides. Measure out your lightener and developer. I'm using a 2 to 1 ratio meaning it 2 parts developer to 1 part lightener and give it a good mix until it's a nice runny consistency. I'm also adding the bond maker number 1 to the mix and mixing it all up. I'm using a YouTube shorts as a mini tutorial and what she does is starts off on the sides and does 2 back to back baby lights. I definitely struggled when it came to weaving the baby lights. It looked so easy in the tutorial, but it's so much harder than it looks. So my sections are not perfect. Do not judge me. And then I'm taking a foil right underneath that and painting on the bleach. A little bit messy here, especially at the roots. And I am not bringing the bleach down where I previously bleached my hair only to where I need to touch up the hair. My hair is naturally very fine and thin, so that made it a little bit more difficult to weave through some baby lights, but practice makes perfect. This is my first time doing it, so it was definitely a learning experience. And I'm going to repeat the exact same steps on the other side. Following the YouTube shorts tutorial, she does two back-to-back -back baby lights for the front section here. I definitely need to work on my baby light sectioning skills. We are learning. And again, I'm leaving out the ends, only going over the roots so I'm not double processing. This is the second back-to-back -back baby light section here. For the middle and back of the triangular section here in the front, she did a mixture of baby lights and a teasy light, she called it, for a rooted effect. And this is definitely where I kind of screwed up. At first, I sectioned off a small section and then tried to weave through some baby lights. Then I decided to just tease the entire section, and this is where I made the mistake of bringing the bleach up to the teased section. I should have left the teased section free of bleach. Once I realized it, I tried to fix it, but as you guys will see in the end result, this part did receive a little bit too much bleach. I let the bleach sit for 15 minutes and then took out the foils and shampooed and conditioned my hair as usual. Because I didn't have 20 volume developer, I mixed two parts developer to one part water to dilute the developer. And I'm also using a two to one ratio, two parts developer to one part toner for the T14 toner here. And this I let sit for 15 minutes. I wish I let it sit for a little bit longer, but I was pretty nervous so I didn't want to overdo it. Now for this section here, I'm going to show you guys how I cut my hair at home. First I part it, brush it so it's nice and straight, and then put it into a super low ponytail using an elastic and then I pull the elastic down to the length that I want to cut my hair and I cut everything that is below the elastic. Literally just snip it away. Take the elastic out and then brush your hair so that it's nice and straight, framing the face, make sure that it's not behind the ears. I want it to go a little shorter so I cut the front sections here and then I had my husband straighten out the back to match the front. Make sure both sides are equal in length and then I'm just styling it as usual with my shark flex style. Here is the after. I do like the front, but the top section here is a little bit too orange, so I'm going in with my Olaplex Purple Shampoo, probably the best purple shampoo I've ever used, and letting that sit for a minute or so, and then washing it out and restyling that section. Here is the complete after post purple shampoo. I'm pretty happy with it. The money piece is a little bit chunkier than I would like it to be, but I really love how this brightened up my hair without having to do the entire head. And I absolutely love the haircut. I have come to really love short hair on myself, especially with my fine thin hair. I wanted to insert a clip of what the hair looked like styled and in slightly different lighting. I'm filming on my iPhone here, but love the result. Really happy with it. Definitely learned some things, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.